Um, over here, we're going to be heading over to the gym, but I actually don't plan on going in here yet. I just wanted to see this creepy old man staring at the ladies. <laughs> it's going to be Christian is doing. 60 mm, years from now. <laughs> yeah, gym full of ladies. That's, it's better than staying at a mall all day. Right? <laughs> better than sitting in the forest naked. <laughs> yeah, or on a road with no pants on, right? Same dude, yeah. Same guy. I like how all the old old guys look exactly the same. <laughs> Eventually all Japanese men look the same when they're older. <laughs> and that's coming from Solar Prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, am, I am half Asian, I'm allowed to get away with it. No comment, no comment. No comment. <laughs> I think I hit, I hit a slight road bump here. I'm trying to find the is it the coin box or oh yeah the coin box. It's uh I believe it's in the it's in a house like down here. It's <laughs> one of these ones. Yeah, it's one of those. Is it Ash too young to gamble? Oh, is it the bar? Right? Yeah, there he is. That the coin dude pouch. On top. Oh, was it? Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Wait, what's going on here? Why is there two rocket guys standing here? That's um. They're just there. Oh. He's blocking the TV. He doesn't want you to watch what's going on. <laughs> yeah, he's watching some uh it's suggestive guy, right? material. Yep, the guy on the top drinking coffee. Aha, coin case. There we go. Not that it really matters. Do you guys ever use the this coin case in the game? Mm. Yeah, I don't think so. Not much. I used to use it like when I first played the game, but then eventually it's like, yeah. I'll just yeah, same it. here. Well, there was one thing I actually used the coin case for was to actually get a Dragon Knight. It's like you know, the earliest Dragon Knight you can get in the game. And it was awesome for gold and silver, but in the remake they changed the whole game system for it. Yeah, I didn't really like that. That flip yeah. thing? Man, that thing made me want to rage quit Pokemon. Okay. What I was just doing now is if you actually click on the ground around there, people drop coins and you can pick them up. But anyways, um... So, should we talk to this odd rocket grunt staring at the wall? Or a poster? Let's see, what is he doing? He's just minding his own business, but I want to bug him. Yeah, he's guarding a poster. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. <laughs> Go away. I hated how the rockets always had like, yeah, red gates and coughings and... Yeah, rocket just had those ones. They never bothered getting them. Zubats! Like, oh, all Zubats. annoying Pokemon. <laughs> exactly. They are an annoying bunch. Not sure. Oh, I still got that Eevee in my party. Whoops. Fix that another time. Um, do you, do you guys mind me asking you guys a question? Go right ahead. While we obliterate this grunt. Um, now I know. Uh, I'm sure you guys already know that I'm doing a giveaway this month. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you guys planning on doing one too? Oh. Uh, well, we are, but I don't know. If we're gonna announce it just quite yet. Chris, do you wanna fill in? Who was that? My my Skype's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he asked if uh, he says that that we know he's doing a giveaway, and he asked us if we're like what we're doing for the giveaway. Oh, well, uh, we will be posting a video uh, Thursday detailing a little bit more about that. But let's just say okay. we're gonna be giving away um, one of the items we're gonna be giving away is the collector's edition of Epic Mickey. 
and um, you know that that includes the game. It's like in a box. It comes with the game. It comes with a special edition disc that shows like behind the scenes and uh, I think concept art and stuff like that. And then it comes with a Nintendo Wii uh, Epic Mickey skin and then a Epic Mickey skin for your Wiimote and then also a little toy of a Mickey Mouse. I think like a I think a five inch figurine. I think I'm not exactly sure how big it is, but yeah, it's one of the gifts. And then um, that's all we have to say for now. <laughs> Okay, due technical difficulties, Chris will not be joining us for a bit here. He'll be right back. Uh, we hope, yes. Uh, right now I ran into another annoying grunt. And just beat him up real quick. Yeah, we're just slopping around. Double I have kick. these radicates. I think Ash should just have like an item in his bag called like Mouse Trap and just kill all these Mr. Mouses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, he doesn't have to deal with that too much. Oh, in the game, probably, yeah. That'd be, that'd be easier. Be like a training for repel. For Zubats, you should just have like a... Like a... A web surrounding him and they all like get trapped. So he never has to deal with them again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should actually go after their boss and... Uh, just get them to stop doing this stuff. Picking up useless Pokemon. Ooh, Pokeball. Escape rope. I like um, never used the escape rope. I would like, like I know it was useful, but I never wanted to use it. I'm like, no, I'm going getting out myself. I got in. I'm gonna get out. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I uh, I used it one time by accident. And just totally Ooh. screwed up my plan because it threw me out. Um, if if we make the Giovanni, I got a little special treat for you guys. And that's All if right. that's if we get there. You better there. make it. Let's go. These puzzles are... I like them, but they're tricky. <laughs> they sure don't make games like they used to. Yeah, no doubt. I think th these are uh, the same from the original game. If I recall. They should be. I don't see why not. Chris, you remember those like moving tile things, right? Yeah, it was like Zelda. Like the Legend mm -hmm. of Zelda, how you have to like move those. Ah, just remind me. <gasps> Chris is in! Yay! Yay, we have Chris again. Finally back. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, this kind of reminds me of something from... Was it Zelda? No. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of something else. There was this old I computer game I had. So good. It was called, like, Chips Adventure or something like that, and it had, like, these tile things just like this. I don't know if anyone's played. It's a really old, like, old school, like, Windows 95 game called, like, Chips Adventure, Ad Adventure or something like that. Do you have to like somehow get like the key and then go back to where the door exit is or something? Is that how it works? Or am I just mm. being crazy? Being crazy. No, actually, I don't recall actually. Hyper potion. You have to get like the master key in like one of the rooms, don't you? I think so. Man, it's been a while. You're like you're like testing us like are they really Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Here, go down, oh. go down the stairs. Oh no! I was able to slip past him before. Goats. Now keep in mind, he did say something interesting that is important to what is next in the story. The reason why we didn't go into Lavender Town a whole lot is because at the very end, at the very top, where as far as we can go, there's a ghost blocking it, and you can't see it. Technically, you can't battle, you can't catch, you can't do anything with it until you get the silk scope, which is what they have here. I always wanted to catch that ghost. Yeah, I me too. Tried. I thought you could. I used to try. To, I I tried in heart in the in our this game, <laughs> Fire Red. I was like maybe they changed it, but nope. That'd be pretty I cool. I like glitched my game with Game Shark. Got Master Balls. I'm not trying to catch. <laughs> it. I mean, you and can catch a Ghastly and a Haunter. Why can't you catch this ghost? Yeah. That's the thing. Like, are Ghastlies and Haunters ghosts of other Pokemon? Like. Once the Pokemon dies, does it become that, or is it just like a different ghost altogether? And then, does that make Ghastly and all those other ones ghosts of something else? You know what I mean? That, that is a very it's a ghost question. Pokemon. Like it kind of looks like you Cloyster. Send that into Ghost Hunt or Ghost Adventures. <laughs> ghost Adventures. Boy, you guys like that show? I love it. 
It's on the Travel Channel Fridays at nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sorry for the crappy pun. Uh, the crappy uh, inserts commercial there. But yeah, it's a good show. <laughs> I don't think I get that channel. Well, you can always watch it on uh, YouTube. I could. That's YouTube, true. yeah. I know this is like a side source of everything. side uh, combo, but it's kind of kind of connected because you're going you're gonna be going to the Poco Tower and we're talking on the topic of a ghost. But do you guys believe in ghosts? Hmm. It's funny you bring that up after Halloween. Um, right. <laughs> my my opinion of that is um, no, I don't. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> I'll just say that now. 100%? So I'll... 100% because when I see those shows, I, they, like, they don't help. Like, I used to when I was a kid, but then I see these shows where people are going into the houses and doing their thing. It just doesn't add to what I... You know, it just kind of... I don't know how to explain it. Like, the facts that they're bringing up aren't justifying it for me uh. as a viewer. Would it help to say that I've actually seen a ghost before? If you can... No, no, no. The only ghost you've seen is uh, the ghost of Ganondorf. <laughs> no, I've actually, I'm pretty sure I've seen a ghost before. I'm pretty pretty sure of it. Uh, I want to do... Uh, you want me to tell you my little story? or? Oh, it's kind of long. I don't want to bore you guys with it. <laughs> but okay, I've I'm seen just... a ghost. I've seen it. I, I believe in ghosts. I think the viewers want to hear it. You want to hear it? All right. Well, here it goes. Bear with me now. I was like, I was 12, I think. So I'm in my friend's car, and there's this haunted bridge, and uh, apparently it's like it's built off. It's like near my house, kinda, and supposedly like I want to say 30, 40 some odd years ago, a, a bus of school kids, a, a bus with a bunch of kids in it, flipped over, and everyone tragically died. And it's actually documented that the event actually happened. Anyway, uh, there's a story that if you were to park your car there, that paranormal things will happen to you. So we're with my friend, and we're with um, and his mom was driving us, and we're like, "Oh, there's a haunted bridge. Just drive over there." And it was really late at night, and um, it was dark. We couldn't really see much. We're like, "All right," she's like, "All right, I'll drive you guys over there." You know, we're we're in the area, so we go park our car on the bridge and and we're sit there and she shuts the engine off and she, and we're all like sitting in the back row so we're sitting there for I think 10-15 minutes and it hits like I think it was around 10 o'clock at night it's like right when it hits 10 we see all this fog all of this fog go around the car it started all of a sudden getting really foggy and the windows missed it up. It was just, you couldn't see throughout the window. It was that foggy. Then the car, no joke, the car moved two feet forward. And and I want you guys to remember, we're all sitting in the back row. So the car moves forward like a couple feet. We look behind us and there's a bunch of handprints on the window. Little kid handprints. And the legend, or I guess mystery, uh, story of that goes is that the kids that are in the bus, the spirit is still there, their, their spirits are there, and they want to push the car off the bridge so that no one else gets hurt. So that's my ghost story. And we tried debunking it, we tried uh, disproving it, but, you know, that's what happened, so. That's my ghost story. That is an interesting story, actually. Yeah, well, I still it was, don't believe it. <laughs> you just don't believe it? Oh, come on, man. Dude, it was it was creepy, See, it, and there was no way to disprove it. I mean, it's like it was it was it was really you, scary. You, you told you you told me the story before. But I, I don't know. I'm one of those people. If I don't see it, I don't believe it. You know. So I yeah, guess it's well, just the way I am. Oh, so I hope that doesn't jinx it, <laughs> and I don't get like attacked by a. A swarm of little kid ghosts. Maybe you should hang a like a set up a camera in your room, and then we'll call it paranormal, <laughs> paranormal activity, activity three. three. Yeah, yeah, that'd and be we'll cool. Do that. 